All right, we're going to go ahead and finish up uh, this scene here. Um, welcome back, by the way. I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you a new way of texturing the floor and ground by just using the unwrap. Now, so far I've showed you uh, three different techniques. So this is another way of unwrapping instead of UV mapping it ahead of time. Uh, you can technically do it with the unwrap. Uh, the reason I wanted to show you uh, the first way was in case you got to you know basically confusing geometry where you weren't sure what sides you were mapping first all right so i'm going to go ahead and uh, close this out and i'm going to pick the wall here which i clicked on it and then i'm going to hit p for my perspective i'm going to right click hide unselected and i'm just going to work with the wall here i'll hit f4 so you can see my edges here all right so i'm going to go ahead and uh convert my uh poly to a geometry here, or to, uh, I'm sorry, to my uh, my edible mesh to an edible poly. My poly to an edible, my uh, geometry to an edible poly. Jeez, I'm just waking up here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, throw a UV W unwrap on there. As you can see, it's somewhat mapped it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, come down here in the, the drop down list, or you know, the sub object level is unwrap. I'm gonna grab this face, this face, and this face. And we're going to go right down here to these tools, these map parameters. And like I believe you can just try to hit quick planar map. Or you can actually just hit uh, pelt. And this will open up right here. And then as you can see, uh, here I'm going to turn off my checkerboard. We have the pelt. But we're not going to stretch it out. Instead, right, right off the bat, we're not going to hit start pelt or anything. We're going to hit commit. And that lets me know, hey, we just, uh, you know, we just uh, coordinated that or, or we just, uh, you know, mapped out that face. So I'm going to grab the other face here. This is the ground floor. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just pull that down over here. And then as well, this one right here is broken up into two. You can see the wall. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually highlight these. I'm going to go to uh, Tools weld selected and that should weld uh, any two verts that were somewhat open even though they weren't open in here but at least in the, the mapping here so now I can I believe I can select those oops hold on let's grab them all go tools weld selected and I should well technically it should I guess it should grab them let me grab these one last time. Let me go on vertexes. I'm sorry. Let me go on vertexes here. Like that. Tools. Weld selected. There we go. So now if I grab it by the element. There. It's one whole element. That's what I was trying to do. Alright. So. And then we know. This one. As you can see. As we select it is that wall. So. This wall right here. And then I believe this is the second wall. I'm going to actually scale that to match kind of the size and I'm gonna somewhat stack that up there just so I can match the size of it there we go and then I'm gonna pull this right over here so we know these two walls are aligned together alright now I'm gonna grab the floor here I'm just gonna go ahead and scale that down so I'm gonna grab all of these you know and kind of um, yeah I'm gonna kinda of place them together I want to get kind of accurate with this. There we go. And then I'm going to highlight all these and just kind of scale them all together at once. I'm going to, oops, I'm going to fit them. We're going to fit them within this box here. And you know what? I'm going to actually scale that ground just a little bit more because I want these to have a little more precedence over the rest. Oops, let me go ahead and scale these. There we go. I want those to fit in there. And as well, I guess I could bring these back up. Alright, so there we have it. We have our maps laid out. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just go to uh, Tools right here and render out the UV template. You know, I'm going 1024, 1024. And, you know, Alpha uh, 1.1. We'll keep everything default. I'm just going to hit Render UV. 
there it is and now I'm gonna save this out and I'm gonna call this my wall you I'm just gonna save over this old one I had and just save that hit yes press OK close this out and now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is uh, I can go ahead and um, close this and lock this in place just collapse it and there you go so now we're gonna go into Photoshop and paint our um, you know our texture here all right so I went ahead and unwrapped it um, so I'm gonna open up Photoshop and show you the the texture I came up with so I'm gonna close these out these are completed ones here so I'm gonna open up and I basically made three maps I painted them on all on the you know on the um, the texture there or the UV map here's my diffuse uh, oh, I'm sorry this is my bump map then a simple diffuse and the specular and as you can see I use some artwork from Bansky if you ever heard of him he's a famous mysterious graffiti artist um, pretty interesting character um, but yeah I went ahead and uh, I thought uh, the image I found I was like oh that looked pretty cool so I guess it kind of went with the scene somewhat so these are my three maps and as you can see um you know they're painted on their pers you know their rightful or their you know their actual coordinates so let's go ahead and um, take that into uh, 3d max now and then of course um, you know if I want to put those in you make sure you put them into your um, actually I got them all already set here I got my diffuse in my diffuse color but I set that at a hundred my specular I set to 25 and then my bump I set to 10 because I had to adjust it a little bit because it was a little you know a little too bumpy and uh, once you got that then you can just kinda drag that right on there and make sure your show maps are in viewports and here's the image I guess I could tighten that up a little bit you know if I needed to I can go back and you know highlight these and then go to um, UV unwrap here and then just go to my edit tab and if I have to of course I can pick the texture again which is the Bansky wall diffuse and I can grab this and slightly just nudge it over a little bit and there you go it fixes it right up alright I'm gonna go ahead and relock that in place and I ended up putting a new camera in there so I can get more of the wall so you look at my cameras here I got two cameras now which by the way the way you set up a camera uh, depending on how you want your shot to, to be you just hit control C and then you have a new camera so now I have three cameras to choose from here's number one number two and then of course number three and if you see if you want to see exactly what you're rendering just go ahead and uh, right click and make sure you have show safe frames on and then you can see what exactly is being shown and right, I don't want to have that cut through so I'm going to actually go to camera 2 here whoops not 3 but 2 there you go and another way to create your cameras are from uh, views uh, create camera from view which is control C I'm already in a camera so it's grayed out alright so I'm going to go ahead and right click on hide all and there we go we got our simple render here so I'm gonna go ahead and um, render that out All right, like I said it's a simple texture job you know slightly a little bit of bumps um, your walls are painted uh, now the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, render out my I'm gonna save this out this would be my um, you know render diffuse I suppose render I'm gonna call it render wall diffuse or I'm sorry yeah render wall diffuse that's right you spell that right and I'm gonna save this out as a PNG or I, yeah well you can save it as a JPEG too but for now I'm gonna save it as a PNG even though nothing's being alpha out I just want a lossless file like a you know I don't want it compressed and then I'm going to go ahead and render out me um, an ambient occlusion to compile into uh, Photoshop. So hit M. And let's see, I don't have one made, so I'm going to go ahead and pick a blank shader. 
uh, standard, and we're going to look for, I'm already in Mental Ray, the renderer. So remember, you got to switch your, your renderer. And the way you do that is you go to render, render setup, and make sure in the assigned renderer you are in Mental Ray. If you need to switch, if you're in default command line, you'll see Mental Ray if you, you know, you choose that right there. That's right there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and, um, I'm already in Mental Ray. I'm going to look for a Mental Ray map here, shader. And then in the surface slot, I'm going to go look for the ambient. There it is. And I'm going to keep that at, I'm going to actually bump it up to 128. Remember, the higher, the more detail your, your ambients are, but longer render time. And of course, I'm changing my max distance to 0.0. .0. All right, I'm going to my render setup here, and then uh, let's go to the processing tab. I want to change this to one, and instead of 64, I'm actually going to leave it at 16. So I'm going to keep my type to Mitchell, and then the processing tab. Let's go ahead and check it, and then go to our parent level. We'll name this either AO map or Dirt map or whatever you want to name it, and then I'm just going to drag that right in there, make it an instance, and then I can render this out now. Oops. And there we go, we have a nice ant pass that we're going to combine in Photoshop. Should be almost done. Like I said, I put it up to 128, so it's going to take a little bit longer than normal. so there we go we have our ambient pass so I'm gonna go ahead and save that out and I'll just call this my I'll save it over the old one here no let's call this AO render new I'm gonna save that out and then I'm gonna go ahead and open up Photoshop here and do a quick uh, composite here so I'm gonna go file open let's see we got our AO new and then our regular Diffuse with the Bansky right here, render wall diffuse. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the AO one. It doesn't matter though. I'm going to take the AO one, drag it, hold down shift, let it go, and it should place it right over the center. All right, and from there, let's go ahead and go to our blend modes. I'm going to change this to multiply. And I'm going to bring this down about 75. And there you go. Now we got our soft shadows in our scene. Well, we, you know, we can play with these, uh, you know, your actual, um, here, let's crank this back up. I'm going to actually go to my curves here, adjustments, curves, I can brighten them up a little bit. Uh, you know, I can actually crunch down the reds, kind of give it that weird blue tinge. Maybe I'll crank up my greens just slightly. And let's see. Here, I'll just uh, crank up my blues a little bit, too. Uh, that looks pretty good. Kind of stylized type of ambient occlusion. So uh, I'm going to change that down to 75 now. And, you know, just to give this a more interesting look, I'm going to take this the regular color map here. And I'm going to desaturate a bit. I'm going to go adjustments, hues, and saturations. I'm just going to bring it down. I don't want it too, you know, too colorful. I'm going to kind of... Desaturate, kill the colors a little bit, kind of make a drab look. You know, maybe um, maybe I'll throw some grain on there. Filter. Let's see. Make sure you're in 8-bit mode though. There we go. I'm gonna put a little grain on there. Artistic. Let's go. Oh yeah. Filter. Noise. Add noise. Not much though. Something s simple like that. And then, I don't know. Let me see if I can do a filter. I don't know why I would do a diffuse on that, but 
Just testing out things. There we go. That looks um Well, that looks pretty decent. All right, so go ahead and save that out and post it up into the forums. All right, I hope you uh, learned something with, that, with all these videos here. Uh, with the unwraps, a couple different ways you can do it. Uh, your mix mapping, you know, rendering out your diffuse, ambient occlusions again. All right, until next time, uh, thanks for watching.